John 19.25 He steke san de para to staro tu Jesu. He meter altu, kai he adelfe tes metras altu. Maria he tu clopa, kai Maria he magdalene. Right before this we read how the soldiers divided Jesus' clothes among themselves. And now we read, and they stood, and the subject of this we're going to find is here at the end of the verse, and they stood or they were standing beside the cross or at the cross of Jesus. So who is it that was standing beside the cross of Jesus? Well, we have here his mother and the sister of his mother. So that's person number one and person number two. Then we have person number three here, Mary, the one of Clopas. And the noun implied here is certainly wife, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary the Magdalene, that is Mary the woman from Magdala. Now, if you look at the commentaries, there's some, some discussion of could this person two be the same as this person three, and so on and so on. But most likely, we have four different people listed here. Let's take a look at this first verb here, hastekeson. If you are ever dealing with forms that have this diphthong here in the ending, you're dealing with the pluperfect. Lelukain, lelukais, leluke, lelukaimen, leluketa, lelukaisan. Lelukain, lelukais, leluke, lelukaimen, lelukaita, lelukaisan. Right there, aisan right there. That's the third person plural. This is from histemi, to stand. And so this is a plu perfect a pluperfect giving some background information here pluperfect active indicative third person plural uh, translated we're translating it essentially like an imperfect which Lydia Novakovich notes that the pluperfect of histemi is uh, indistinguishable in meaning uh, from the Im use of the imperfect tense she notes this in her Baylor handbook but uh, I'm not sure if I'd say it exactly the same way but the it is clearly giving us just some background information here so it, it it's rendered nicely as a just a simple pass right so they were standing they were stand and now they were standing beside the cross of jesus